hi everyone welcome back to crafting at whimsy wonderland my name is stacy um i've been doing some shopping this weekend and i went out to tractor supply found this adorable barnyard friends calendar it has a whole bunch of really cute pictures hand drawn of um different farm animals i'm loving this donkey how he peeks up over the edge there's a lot of cute pictures on here there's a baby cow that kind of matches the mama cow here i'm loving this piggy right now piggies are kind of trending at hobby lobby i noticed and they had one that was really cute that said this little piggy stayed home and this one is like the perfect expression on this piggy's face i also have another calendar that i found in my stash that i'm working on another video for which is this one and it has a little piggy in it too <laughs> love that little piggy anyway that's not from my haul that's been in my stash since 2018 Anyway, this cute calendar came from Tractor Supply. They are on sale now, 75% off. I think this cost me $5. Okay, not as cheap as the Dollar Tree calendars, but if you want another look and you want to lean a little bit more towards the animals, this is a really cute one to go find. After Tractor Supply, I ran over to Dollar General and I found these Bumblebee microfiber cloths. I also have another package which I've already opened and used. If you remember back a couple of videos ago, I did those faux scales. And the red one I've got upstairs is my fruit bowl. And one of the uh, microfiber washcloths was like a gray buffalo check. So I lined my bowl with that gray buffalo check. And that's just like hanging over the edge of the scale. It looks really cute. Anyway, I digress. These were a dollar for two. I thought that was a good good deal. And I was thinking these might make kind of a fun pillow, um, little pillow sachet kind of thing for my tiered tray. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to that or not. I just really liked the bumblebees. So I went ahead and bought it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't like to sew that much. So we'll see. Then I found some last of their Christmas stuff. Got these for a quarter a piece. Thought that was a steal. I'm always using Ziploc bags. And then I found these. These were a dollar. And I thought um, I can do some really cute things with these. I don't know if I'll leave them painted. I kind of like the succulents. But I kind of wanted to do something new with them too. So not sure what's going to happen with these. If they'll be as is or if I'll doctor them up somehow. You'll have to stay tuned. Then I found a couple of these. They had two, uh, but the other one had a more intense picture on it. I don't remember what it was. And for painting over, I thought this would be an easier one to paint over. But what I like is the metal lid, and it's attached with screws so that um, you can actually take that off, do your decoupaging or painting, and then screw this back on. So I thought that was going to be very helpful, and I love the way they embossed the lid. It actually looks like a real lid. All right, those were a dollar as well. And then I found these. I couldn't find the chicken one. I hear they have a chicken one, but I haven't seen the chicken one yet. Welcome, farm shop, sausage and bacon. These were five dollars. Here's a cow one for fresh milk. These are going to look really cute in my farmhouse decor. Five dollars a piece. I don't usually spend five dollars. I usually take the dollar things and make them up myself a little bit more but these were just too cute and I loved the little detail about how they put the little ends of the wood on here instead of just leaving it plain they, they put those little ends back on and I thought that was nice okay so five dollars a piece again these were from Dollar General and then I got a couple of the metal cows farm shop fresh milk these were a dollar I don't know what I'm doing with them but I thought they were too cute and then for my nautical themed bathroom I got an anchor and a fishy they were a dollar a piece these are like concrete or plaster um, but I thought for a dollar that was a good deal okay then I think that's all from Dollar General then I headed over to Hobby Lobby where we have a brand new Hobby Lobby that just opened and just about 10 minutes away from me so they have half off on all of their ribbons and trim or most of their ribbons and trim so I found this brocade rope I really like it it was $7.99 for 15 feet but it was half off so it was only four dollars and I thought this would be an interesting twist to use as trim on a pizza pan 
And then these were $8.99. Little pith berry, or, uh, oh, pit berries. They were regular $8.99, so they were half off, so they were $4.50. I thought that's quite a bit of uh, berries there. 30 feet for $4.50. I thought that was a good deal. So I got the pink and the, well, it's kind of a pinky purple, and the yellow. They were supposed to have blue as well, but the blue was sold out. So, and I didn't get to my other Hobby Lobby to check. And I'm not sure how long that sale is on. So that was my find at Hobby Lobby. Then I went to Dollar Tree and oh my goodness, did I score some things at Dollar Tree. They have yarn, three little balls. My Dollar Trees are right now working on redoing their crafter square section and they're getting all sorts of nice new things in. So I thought this was great for Valentine's Day. Um, I got one that was blue, it was like a navy blue, a dark blue, and kind of a seafoam green as well. And I don't know if that's in this bag or if that was, if I've lost it already, because I did get this uh, day before yesterday. So anyway, and then they have these guys. I already have a whole collection of these little planters in my windowsill, trying to grow some herbs in them. I have a penguin around here too. Oh, there he is so cute I think I've already got like eight of them lined up in my in my uh, windowsill planted with basil and all sorts of things they're a little bit small for herbs but I just thought I'd see what I could do and then there was some more berry garden stuff so a set of two frogs and a bird and these are little welcome signs and a little spigot water faucet thing and that's just a plant so anyway, I like to have some of the little things to add in to other things that I do. And then these were brand new. I got two of each color. Just little burlap rolled roses. I thought four in there for a dollar was a pretty good deal. The pink one, I love the color. It's not true pink. It's kind of a kind of a coral color. And then they have twine. I'm always looking for black twine, so I picked up like three of those, and at Christmas time, I always like the red twine, so I got two of the red ones. Then they had some new fairy doors in, in their fairy garden section, so I picked up three of those, one of each, and I just thought these were really cute. I loved how these turned out when um, I used the one in my succulent bowls that I did a couple videos ago, so that's what inspired me to get those. Then I ran over to a different Dollar Tree and I found different twine, gray and white, red and white. They also had like a light blue, an orange, and then they had a whole bunch of solid colors like sky blue. I mean, I could have probably spent $20 on twine just getting one of each of the ones that they had. These I use a ton of, especially at Christmas time. They make great hangers. And then I was kind of excited about these. For a dollar. I like that our crafter square is starting to get some metal pieces. They also had butterflies, birdhouses, uh, flowers, stars, I think. They had a whole bunch of things, and some of them were on little wooden stands. But I just thought this little metal truck was cute. I'm going to put it on a stand, make some kind of a magnetic board out of it, try to paint it a little bit. Not 100% sure how I'm going to do it, but I just the shape is good and I really like how it's looking so um, if you see these grab a few we're gonna do something with them together I'm not sure what yet but something will come to me and then my last stop today had a ton of Easter stuff out um, I was looking for like the little wooden shapes but they didn't have those out yet but I got this little basket and I plan on uh, redoing this one so it'll be cute in my tiered tray when I do that up for Easter. I'm going to be making a Valentine's craft with these. Okay, two of the little palettes and a bag of the chalkboard tags. This one I'm kind of excited about. Hope it turns out like it is in my head. Then because I'm the fun teacher and I always have the best stickers, they had a couple of nice sticker books. So um, they have over 300 stickers in them, kind of small little book stickers, but that's the kind I like to give away at school. And I think the kids are going to love these. So 
take those to school tomorrow. <laughs> and then I went over to the garden section. I found our our farmhouse, this flag right here with the rooster on it, a weather vane. Gonna do some fun decoupage and stuff with that. And I haven't opened this yet. So let's do that. I have a feeling after I bought it. No, okay. Sometimes these things are double sided and they have a piece of fabric down in the middle of it and you can get two prints out of one. But this is just one. It is the dollar store after all. So this is a pretty nice little flag. I'm kind of happy with that for a dollar and it'll look nice decoupaged onto a pizza pan or something of that nature. And then they have this lemon one. You know how crazy we all go for our lemons. I bought two of the lemon ones last year. I found them way towards the end of summer. It was like somebody returned them or something and they were just stuck back out there. Look at this one. Home sweet home with the lemon wreath around it and the blue buffalo check. I cannot wait to decoupage this onto something. I'm just trying to decide what I want to decoupage it onto because this is going to be so pretty up above my cabinets and with all that lemon stuff I've been working on. Um, I don't know if this is Jennifer Pugh. She kind of looks like her. Does not say. Just kind of looks like her style. The one who did the Simply Blessed calendar and the farmhouse calendar that we all love so much. Anyway, I'll have to take a picture and ask her. I got another uh, tub of the spackle so that I can finish spackling up these boards that I'm working on, on another for another project. I got some gel super glue. I haven't seen this in for a while so I went ahead and grabbed it and I saw it because that's what I really like to use. Then every time I go to the Dollar Tree it seems like I pick up a handful of these. Um, these little cell phone ring ring phone holders is what they're called. These are awesome for putting on the back of your pizza pan crafts to be your hanger. Okay? It just flips up and you just have this built-in little ring. It's self-adhesive. I always reinforce it with a little bit of either super glue or E6000, but these are amazing for that. And if you remember last, oh, last fall, probably right after Thanksgiving, I got a bunch of those little miniature spoon rest things that look like mason jars and one of them looked like a piece of bread one looked like a carton of milk i'm going to use those on the back to hang those oh i got another package of the chalkboard hearts these are amazing these signs ah, they're fabulous they are really solid wood and it's another solid piece of wood usually when they put a second piece on it's cardboard but this is two solid pieces of wood stuck together and it is a heavy duty piece and then it's got the little thumbtacks here i'm hoping those thumbtacks are going to come out so i can decoupage over the top of this leave this part just as it is and put something cute here they also have one with carrots on the carrot one i'm leaving exactly how it is and it's just going to go up in my farmer's market section above my cabinets of my farmhouse decor all right pick up some of these if they have them so we can do some fun projects together i got four total three to craft with and one to keep just how it is okay running out of room here then we have the easter truck signs pick your carrot patch pick your own 25 cents each and cottontail farms open daily this way to the bunny trail. I thought those were really cute. I wish these didn't have so much glitter on them. I don't know. Everything has to be glittered. If these were not glittered, they would be perfect. Just how they are. So I'm not quite sure. I think I'm going to try to scrape some of this glitter off and then maybe I'll whitewash it with a little white paint and see if I can tone down the color just a little bit. But I thought these were really cute. And then I picked up a couple more bottles of the super glue wood glue because this is my favorite wood glue. It works really well, holds really well, and it's in a nice size bottle. I can actually use those up sometimes without them going bad. Sometimes the bottles are so big that um, you can't use them up before they get all hard and chunky. All right. 
I'm just looking. That looks like all of my wonderful finds today. Um, again, those the first part came from Dollar General and then Hobby Lobby and then Dollar Tree. All right, well, those are the finds that I came up with this weekend. Stay tuned. I do have some more videos coming up doing some fun calendar art um, with those two calendars I showed you, one that was from my stash and one that I got today or this weekend. And I can't wait to to do them. So, all right. This, let me know what you're thinking. If there's a particular item you are excited to see me do something with, maybe I'll do that first. Well, let me know what you're thinking. All right, this has been Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.